Have you ever forgotten anything important you needed for like knitting? I've definitely have and I was sure out of luck when I forgot to bring some of these items. Mina, welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes and I apologize for the background noise my gardeners are here the here um, doing gardening work and Mr. Pickles is barking downstairs. So I'm terribly sorry if that bothers you. There's nothing I can do about it. They have their duties too, so it is what it is. So anyway, today in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top seven knitting supplies you you should always keep packed for trips. So this is a very important video about how you need these supplies for knitting just in case you're like whether knitting in the round or you, want to finish a project and then you want to finish off your projects and i'm not gonna lie i've definitely forgotten some of these supplies for trips before and it was very annoying because i had to borrow scissors from other people or i had to to um make my own stitch markers so it just happens just to let you guys know but you should always just definitely have this stuff packed or in case you don't bring this stuff you can always like buy it at a local craft store or nearby and then you can have these supplies when you need need them so i'm gonna get started and i hope you guys find this video very helpful number one So number one on my list would have to be knitting needles. So you definitely should pack a different set of knitting needles for in case your projects require different sizes of knitting needles because this is a good idea just in case um, you want to work on different projects that require certain needles. And it's good to have a variety instead of one set of needles. I always bring like maybe two or three needles. I don't bring like my whole set of knitting needles just because I don't want to overpack. But it's just a good idea to have some backup knitting needle sizes just in case you want to work on a different project. So always do that or also pack like like maybe um, skewers so you can make your own needles. And there is a video of how to make your own wooden knitting needles and it's by Pleasant Seas. And if you wanna see how to do that, I'll link her video in the description box down below. Number two. Number two on my list should have to be circular knitted needles. This is important just in case you wanna work in the round or you wanna work on projects that require being worked on circular knitting needles and you need enough to accommodate your stitches. So that's a really, really good idea. Please excuse me. Number three. Sorry, I couldn't find my row counter for, for a second. So number three on my list would have to be yarn so you should always bring yarn with you like different types of yarn i wouldn't pack too much yarn just because that is quite a lot of stuff to pack so when you're packing for trips i'd probably pack only three to four skeins of yarn just in case you're staying longer on a vacation like maybe two weeks because that should be enough yarn for you to knit a project jack i wouldn't <laughs> I'm sorry about that. My phone got cut off because my mom called. But anyway, um, so you should always bring a, bring yarn. I wouldn't bring too much yarn just because you don't need that much just in case you're going on a trip for two or three days. I would probably pack two or three skeins. Don't pack like 20 skeins because that's way too much. I've definitely overpacked with my yarn and I couldn't really fit it in my bag. So just make sure to pack like some small projects to do. Or if you're working on a really big project, you can do that too. I personally don't really like packing way too big of projects just because I don't have enough space for some of my projects in my bag. Number four.
Number four on my list would have to be stitch markers. So you should always pack stitch markers because then you can... Because then you can um, knit projects in the round or if you need stitch markers, it helps to um, keep track of your stitches and stuff like that. So always just pack stitch markers. In case you forget, you can always make stitch markers out of yarn. I've definitely done that before. Or you could just use like paper clips or something. Just anything you have on hand. But it's always just good to pack stitch markers, whether it's a removable stitch marker or just a basic stitch marker. Number five. Number five on my list would have to be scissors. So this is super important. You should always bring scissors with you for knitting just because um, you don't wanna to have to ask to borrow scissors all the time just in case you're at a place you don't have access to scissors. So you should always just bring your own scissors just to be um, just to be mindful so then you don't have to keep bugging the people at the desk if you're at a hotel for scissors or just make sure you, in case you bring you forget scissors, you could always just buy them at the dollar store for cheap. Just um, make, that, make sure you bring money to buy the scissors. Number six. Number six on my list would be a tapestry needle. This is very important just in case your project requires sewing or you need to weave in your ends. So you should always bring a tapestry needle with you. A backup idea is you could always bring a bobby pin for sewing. I've definitely used bobby pins for sewing when it came to crochet and stuff. So it's just a good idea to always just have a tapestry needle just so you can weave in your ends or sew your project just in case your project requires sewing. You can always buy a tapestry needle at like the local local dollar store or the local craft store store but it's just still good to bring like your own tapestry needle just in case you don't have access to a craft store. N Number seven. Number seven on my list would have to be a row counter. So this is what a row counter looks like. I don't know if you can see that. It has like numbers on it. So then you can count your rows and everything. And it makes knitting a lot easier for, for you or crocheting for you. So you can, so it's a good way to count your rows. So then um, it could make your job a lot easier. So if you don't have access to um, a row counter, you could always just use like a piece of paper and make tally marks and stuff like that, that so then you can count your rows easier. That's just another backup way. Or you could just write it down in numbers. I mean, but row counters are just so much easier so that you don't waste so much paper. So I definitely love having a row counter. I find it so much easier to count my rows when it comes to knitting. Okay, so those are my, you can, and like I said, you could get these at the local craft store for pretty cheap. I think I got this for like two something at Hobby Lobby or I got it got one at uh, Joann's or Michael's for like two something and it was pretty easy. So they always sell these at the craft store, so in case you forget one, you can always just buy one. Okay, so those are my seven knitting supplies you should always have packed for vacation. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post that video except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.